Alrighty, I wanted to do a, a quick vid on team play. I played a few games today and I, I kind of just thought there was a recurring theme on, on the gameplay. Um, so, first game's Type 58. And to point out, I'm kind of top tier, but if you look at the matchmaking and you look at your team as assets, then it's me and the VK, right? We're top tier. So the VK and I have pushed right and we're going to support each other and as you'll see in the game we're kind of, we don't know each other as it turns out it's a really nice bloke I contacted him afterwards but effectively we're going to push this flank and the VK has gone sort of wide right and if you look at the enemy they've got two assets they've got a T3485 who I'm going to pump for damage and they've got another VK. The rest is sort of T5, tier 5 stuff. So I'm going to focus the top tier tanks. I'm going to try and put as much damage into this VK and the T3485 as I can. And our VK is gone. If you look at the, the minimap, he has gone way wide, which is interesting. So I'm going to cap the VK. And by the way, that shot doesn't go in very often. And I'm going to help him out with this T-3485, we need to clear him. He's one of the best assets in the enemy team. And we've done that. And now we've got the VK. I'm going to ignore the Sherm. It's a tier 5 tank. It's dangerous, but I'm not worried. I'm going to go after the VK. And if you'll note, our VK is going to follow him behind me, and he's going to do exactly the same thing. God bless him. So we're going to pump this guy. We're not in platoon. We don't know each other. We're just going to play as a team. And he's taking him out. Now the Sherm's going to push the VK. And I'm going to put myself in front of the Sherm and try and take it. He doesn't want to know me. And to be fair to him, he's doing the right thing. He's going for the low hit point tank. VK will now clear him. And we've held this flank beautifully together. It's kind of going well, isn't it? So I'm going to pop up onto the ridge and I'm going to do a spot. The VK's gone left, but I know he's not an idiot. I know he's going to basically sit up here and do the business. Can I get one into the church? I can't. I look up. Aha. Camping all game. And it gives me a really high roll back. But what I'm going to do is ignore him. And campers, let that be a lesson to you. You're not being effective sat there, to be honest, watching your team die. Me and the VK are now going to roll the scavenger. He's taken that out. And eventually the JG is going to go, right, yeah, he's going to roll on down. And he's going to go for the VK. Now, I don't know the VK, but I'm, I'm like, that guy's had a good game. So, geez, I don't think he deserves a repair bill, do you? So I'm going to do my best to keep him alive. And the JG, being the ultimate little grub that he is, goes straight for the VK. And I'm like, right, well, I'm going to do everything I can to keep him alive. It's team play, isn't it? So I'm going to go after him. And <laughs> JG is tunnelling him. And, you know, yes, I'm farming, but I genuinely want to keep this boy alive. Hasn't he done well? I'm going to put myself in the way, clear him out. So team play. The two tier six tanks in this game played together and worked to flank. And we both say affirmative at the end. Uh, I went online and I thanked him afterwards. You know, well, well played, mate. Nice one. There you are, player 683182654, whatever. Nice one. So second game, um, I think I'm going up a tier, and I'm going to show you a game where I'm driving the joys of the Walker Bulldog. Now, the Walker Bulldog, if you don't play it in a team, you're going to lose because it's not a carrying tank. I think I'm playing it off 63% at the minute, but it, you can't carry in this tank at this tier and if you'll know I'm, I'm lower tier as well so I'm going to think how can I be useful to the team because I'm not going to carry this game I'm just going to drive around and do my best so I'm going to push out right and the reason I'm doing that is I've just got the new engine so it's quite quick I like that um, is so that I can spot up the enemy because I have particularly great pen I have reasonable mobility I don't have a strong turret that's all I can do. So there you go, I've spotted up on this flank and we've got a tiger. So this is where it gets team dependent. I'm going to, I've shot a car by the way, that was good wasn't it? 
I'm going to try and spot the Tiger up for the IS-5. Now the IS-5's got a khaki Russian gun, which is inaccurate over distance. Ah, uh, there you go, he's just missed a bit. But I'm going to kind of hold here and spot up for him and spot up for the team. And the team have been okay-ish, they've pushed up, but they're not doing a lot. So I'm going to try... I'm going to trade with this Tiger, by the way. He's got 1,500 in the hit pool. I've got 1,000. What I want to do is keep him pinned there and give the IS-5 shots, which he's consistently missing, but that ain't the point. So there you go. And the Tiger's focusing me. And for my pains, I get hit 195. There we go. I'm going to cap the Tiger, and then I'm going to move, because I'm not really doing effective damage. And what I want is the IS-5 to follow me. Now, for my pains, every time you relocate in this game, you get hit. And it, it, players are good that they'll, that they'll do that to you. So I'm now going to push this corner. So I'm still spotting. I'm going to look at the Tiger. And the Tiger, lo and behold, God bless him, next time I have a poke, I'm seeing the zone shots behind me, by the way, and where my team is, is still looking at me. But I've noticed that there's a T-49 He's going to move across the map. And I'm thinking, good, go do your job. And he has. So there you go. He's now looking at T-49. The T-49's on the reload, so I'm going to push and help him out. And there you go. Tiger's been cleared. The IS-5 has at last moved up. And now we're going to work together as a team to work on this AT-15. And I'm prepared to take a shot here for the team. He's actually focusing the T-49. But between us, again... Working together, we've taken out a nasty tank. By the way, I've taken one in the in the butt from the grave digger there. There he is. And, you know, I need to get out of there real quick. So that's what I'm going to do. So T-49's resuming his life. You know, we've worked together on the Tiger. We've worked together on the AT. We've used the attributes of both of our tanks. We're not in particularly strong tanks. To, to sort that out. You know, we're not even top tier, so that's that. So I'm going to move around, and I'm going to try and help the team. And the team are doing okay. So, can I get this SPC-1? Mm, yep, I can. And I figure it's worth a blind shot, so I'm going to give him one. No luck. Okay, then I'm going to move on down, because I'm worried that the team is taking a pounding. you got a dragon. I reckon he should be cleared soon. The SP-1 sees a one-shot, and I'm actually thinking I'm going to go down have a look at him, see what I can do. And Blitz being Blitz, we should win from here quite easily, shouldn't we? Oh no, wait, hang on, have him, oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's about right. So we're now down to a two on one, but if you'll notice, I'm in <laughs> hit point distress. And I'm driving the tank, even with top gun, calibrate shell, supercharged, the works that is not going through a grave digger. So I'm going to team up with the IS-5, and I'm hoping that he'll be a heavy tank. I'm hoping that he'll push. This Gravedigger can basically clip me out um, in three shots, possibly two if he gets high rolls. So I, I can't push. I need to work with the IS-5. I need the IS-5 to be the heavy tank that he can be. And the IS-5, in fairness, is, is taking it easy. So we're going to try and give this guy two angles and you know again I'm not in platoon I'm trying to work as part of a team you know a team within a team in a battle so I'm going to try and get up behind the grave digger because I'm not going for his front and just so I do that little bugger moves backwards and I wasn't spotted until just then so he's he's been fortunate so I'm going to come round and all the time I'm thinking about where the IS-5 is because, again, I'm not going to go down there, be a hero, whatever, against a gravedigger with, with six clips, six in his clip. And the IS-5's come up, and I'm like, I'm almost saying to him, dude, just, just go right, let's give him two angles, just go be a heavy tank. At which point he goes, go, okay, you're the big boy, you're top tier, I'm the support tank, I'll back you. And there you go, he's now being a heavy tank, and basically all I'm going to do is farm off him. And this is, this is team play, and I need to farm off him, because look, I can, I can only pen the top of this guy's turret, just as he looks at me, I clear him. So again, you might not be in platoon, but it's just 
playing as a team with people, you know, viewing them as an asset, not a knob, taking the, the best of their tank, working around it, getting an effective result when, when you can't carry yourself. So anyway, team play, guys. Try, try doing it because you, you can't get a master in every game and you can't carry every game. So help the noobs and, and be safe out there. Thanks.